Yeah, 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 you did. Dimensional pocket to the fun one.
I sent them a message, but I haven't seen anything. It looks like they are on. some Aja and Vertigo issues. Uh, let me adjust some cameras and uh, we're already here and I forgot to pop out full 20.
Okay, I'm ready to go live. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Nerds with Dice. Sorry for the delay. Had to uh, make some last minute adjustments. But we are here. We are back. Let's see. A uh, quick uh, thing. We do have a Discord. If you're not a part of it, go ahead and join that. Um, as for a recap, last week uh, was. Well, not last week, last time. Uh, they uh, helped stop the abduction of. And I don't have my notebook with my note. They helped uh, stop the abduction of a mafia boss's daughter. Uh, and then uh, track the clues following the group responsible. There was a big battle. Uh, and they learned some information. About, oh wow, it's been a while. I should have watched the end of that episode. Uh, <clears throat> I know you learn. I think so. Yeah, you learned some important information about some I know it was about some of the people involved in the local area who was who I believe Francis Taylor oh yeah he was the uh contact like the the what is it uh what are they man uh can't think of it but he was basically their contact and the the visible face of what they were doing uh but of course nobody knows he's doing it so let's uh go around real quick starting with quartz let us know who you are and who you're playing today And TQ, Chase. Which is always a fun one. So, believe you all went back to rest. I don't know if... Se oh, yeah, because you had to heal after... <laughs> technically, by the game's rules, yes. But I, I didn't say technically you went, gotten, you went and got patched up and then went and slept and... No, you're all... You should all be healed up. So if you haven't already uh, done that on your character sheet, make sure you do that. And uh, flow. I don't remember. Do you all go back to the gas station or did you go back to your separate places to rest? Okay. <clears throat> um, Flo calls one of you, um, says that uh, they don't, that they got called in so they can't uh, 
meet with you today. Uh, and that uh, it's up to you, Nolan Howard, to continue investigating. Oh, I remember. Uh, f f I think it was Francis Taylor. It was somebody was the the contact and agent and cover who had a, like has some important cover in the city, and you also learned about a boat. Yes. So I don't know if that's their end or our. No, it was me oof uh no it was me i forgot to uh i'm not i'm still not used to uh using uh this streamlabs obs program where you have to unmute and mute every time if you don't want anybody to hear so mm -hmm. i forgot i apologize we were just figuring out where we had left off which uh is we left off with them having some struggles or uh, having had a scuffle with uh some uh nia agents national intelligence agency agents uh, that <clears throat> appear to be behind the abduction of these many people they learned they got a lead on um, somebody uh, Francis Taylor I believe who was sort of the cover agent for and contact for this group as well as a boat that was taking the people somewhere all right so what do we want to try and find do we want to try and find the boat or do we want to try and find this uh this guy in cover i believe our best course of action would be trying to find the guy first all as right you so eloquently put it all right let's go find our guy uh did we get an address for him i think to remember some kind of like at least a direction Hang on, uh, I think my notes here says park bench in front of town for drop, put an X of the chalk, out of chalk on it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The, the, <clears throat> you didn't have an, a, you had directions on how to get in contact with him. Uh, okay. Dead drop. Okay. Huzzah for note taking. Huzzah for note taking, indeed. Um, all right, so. What do you think? We uh, we leave a note for we try and lure him out for it with the dead drop, and then we spook him. It could work. I mean, I don't see a whole lot of other options. No, 
dude, should one of us wait and the other slunk around in the dark? Hiding, I, I guess. I will go ahead. How about this? Let's go to the park bench. I will go out. You slink. I will go ahead and put an X on uh, an X out for him. And then I will slink. And then when he comes out to investigate the X, we can um, catch him. We can catch him. Yeah. We'll both sit down on the bench on either side and have a nice little chat. This is going to go horribly wrong, but I appreciate it. We're going to find out. One way or the other. Right then, Mr. Hardy. Mm -hmm. Off we go. And how. Okay, so off to the park it is. There's a, a bench on the north side of the park. Uh, it faces. Uh, it's on. So it's a, like top of a hill. Go mm -hmm. looking down. You can see the rest of the park from there. Uh, like a small, lightly wooded area off to the benches left. Convenient. Mm hmm. All right. Um, I will uh, head on over to, to the bench. Can I see where they've placed the X in the past? Like, has it been washed clean or is it uh, pretty obvious of where they've been marking it up? Uh, no, they've been um, wiping it off at the okay. very least. All right. Um, I will give you a nod and then I will slink on over to the bench and sh sh mark it. Okay. Easy enough. Uh, if you want to hide and wait. Mm -hmm. let's, I'm going to uh, hide in the woodland, yeah. Let's pull some cards for... Before we do anything, can I manipulate... Uh, Chase's deck to try and get a good set of cards for him. Yes, mm. how does that, that works? Work? It's a free action and it's instant. I will use my control boost, which I don't think boosts actually affect anything in this, but I can take the top three cards of this deck and rearrange them to fit my needs. Okay. Huh. All right. So, yeah. yeah, I I am the burgundy deck. Okay. Ooh, some nice cards. Uh, I'll just I'll change up the order to be like that. Sounds good. And I'll I'll just pop them here. Sure. That works. Okay. Okay. And then I will probably do the same on my own, actually. Okay. Oh, hey, there you are. Oh, we're getting these good cards out early. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm going to stick with that one, actually. All right. Okay. Already. Let's see. So, yeah, we're going to draw cards for... Sneaking. Um, mm -hmm. So, taking the the first card mm -hmm. off of your deck, since they, I imagine those are the ones you want to use. They're both, yep. pretty, they're both success since. And um, Howard, you have a boon from yours? Woo! Because you have a club. Hold on, I'm going to double check and make sure oh, I'm no, remembering actually. which ones are which. It has been a while. Oh. Oh no, I forgot that. Oh, nope. Club is success with a complication. Oh. Not bad. 
but you do you do have quite the margin of success here so won't be bad uh but it does take 45 minutes to an hour before somebody shows up uh there, there's it's a gentleman is mid to late 40s uh looks to be a businessman um and he sits down uh and he he reads like he, you know he's reading a, like he's reading a newspaper just waiting uh this whole time you've been there, there, there's been nobody really on this side of the park in tow. This gentleman sits down, and then there's um, a couple of men who are trying to look uh, inconspicuous in the background. Mm-hmm. But they're uh, not necessarily doing the best job. They definitely look like they're some kind of you know, bodyguard, protection detail of some sort. I'll whisper over to Noel. Do you believe that's them, Mr. Hardy? I mean, probably. Can't imagine anybody else would be just kind of putzing around like this. I can imagine quite a few. Mm. No matter. So, uh, do you want to go out first? Or... Let's um, let's both go ahead and kind of do a flanking, kind of hit them from both sides. That way, maybe they'll feel like there's even more folks hanging out here. I see. Okay. All right. So we'll we'll cut a a, a bit of a, a line around the trees and uh, go up and say hello. Um, can I help you? I'm waiting for somebody. I think that's us who you're waiting for. How are you now? I don't know you. How do you know? How... You're the one who left a mark on this bench. That we is are. correct. And I've never seen you before. How did you know to do that? Uh, folks down at the docks told us. They're uh, they're a little tied up with uh, with a bit of a mess that there was that was there last night, so uh, they sent us uh, in their stead. Uh, he eyes you suspiciously. Let's see. Uh, there's a deception skill, correct? Let's take a look here. By the way, you got a nice ten diamonds on your side for this deception check. Yep, uh, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um charisma yeah and if you have deception skill yeah charisma well i will go with that ten of diamonds there then that's just fine okay ten of diamonds that is also successful um so he eyes you suspiciously still but he does he does buy it, but he's suspicious because mm-hmm. this isn't protocol or, you know, yeah. uh, to send people that they wouldn't know to. Mm-hmm. Okay, well then, what information do you have for me? Um, that there's been a, a bit of a break. Um, it's a mess down there. I'm kind of surprised you're out of the loop on this one. Very surprised indeed. They uh, they went and they caught. I don't know who it was that they caught, but it's it's brutal down there right now. Was there a fatality I heard down there? Couple. 
Mm, yeah. Are you saying my men were attacked? I'm saying your men are dead. Albeit a very beat around the bush method of saying it, but yes, yes. they're dead. Yeah. We got a call last night. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it at that. It was, uh, I heard it. And then I stopped down there and I saw it myself. And then I cleared out because I didn't want whatever was down there to come after me. But, Granted, uh, it, some of the... Uh, I went down there myself as well, looked at some of the markings. They were very unusual, I must admit. Mm. But uh, we're we're cleaners. We're we're here to uh, to help you get scrubbed out of here. Project's over. <clears throat> uh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Who sent you, General? Down at the uh, the at the docks. Uh, he called us. We are kind of a, a last ditch effort protocol. We're we're cleaners. We we help get rid of. Your mistakes, essentially. I was going to say evidence that might be considered unseemly, but yes, mistakes. Um, there's a caper on the loose, and he's mad. I didn't get an ID or anything. He just... There was a code word, a protocol. We're following protocol. Protocol was to come here, leave an X, fill you in on what's going on, and uh, help you get rid of uh, anything that uh, might be considered uh, problematic. Well, problematic is only just a very broad definition for it. I guess we'd have to clean up the entire goddamn town at this rate. Uh, (sighs) Okay. Fine. I have things I have to take care of first. I have my own protocols and such to follow. Mm. Take care of any other business you need to clean up. Meet me uh the Italian restaurant downtown oh, no, at five PM tonight. Five o'clock tonight, you got it. Naturally. Uh he gets up mm-hmm. and he leaves. Uh his his two bodyguards linger. Uh I will the 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 complication is them his is that they were yep if if you one wrong move and they'd probably start shooting yep but you you got away just fine and now as soon as they're all out of earshot I lean over uh and now we follow one moment Mister Hardy we are on good terms with the owner of the Italian restaurant aren't we uh yes we are. So, wouldn't he like to know that perhaps government officials are within his domain? Not only government officials, government officials that tried to kidnap his daughter. I do believe we have an opportunity here, Mr. Hardy, that we can fully exploit. Oh, we certainly do. And I say we do that tonight. But I say right now, we follow him and see whatever it is he's trying to get rid of. No. Well, yes. (laughs) Of course. <laughs> Look, there's going to be plenty of time to ruin this individual, but right now I want to see what he's trying to ruin. Uh, yes, of course. Sorry, uh, sunlight seems to cloud my thinking. Completely understandable. I also didn't tell you what the plan was because I made it up <laughs> on the spot. How does just kind of look them like? What? Oh yeah, no, that was uh, that was a really good idea that I had in the moment. No plan survives contact with the enemy. Why bother going in with one? There are multiple reasons to do so, Mister Hardy. I swear to God, if you do not clean up this act of yours, you're going to be the next body I interrogate. It's very possible, but until that happens, I've been right every time. Until you know the warehouse incident. Look, the warehouse. Look, that was just gonna happen one way or the other. Hmm. All right, and look, then. That it, it was the way that you wanted it to happen, isn't it? I was caught up in the moment. Look, we were all caught up in the moment. These things happen. And now, 
I turn my back to you and point to my shoulders. All right, point to my back. Hop on. We're going for a ride. How would you stand there? Like, you want me yes. to get on your back. Two we... grown men flying in the sky. You have a better idea for tailing him. Do you not have a motorcycle? Yes. One that's on the same level as him. That he can see and hear. Because it's a motorcycle. Howard, like, tries to argue this and then just eventually gives up halfway through, like, oh, humiliating. He can't be Climb far from, from back. here. He can't be far. And I have uh, ca- um, conveyance specialty and uh, can and have the chaperone boost for flight. So the two of us putter into the air. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Um, in that case, uh, we. I want you. I think we'll do. Um, since you're flying, we're perception. Uh, I'm sure one of these skills. Perception <laughs> sense, I guess, if you have the skill for sense. Just kind of. You know what? I was thinking about taking that. I didn't take that one, but perception, that's too. You know, uh, let's take a look here. I will draw one more. Let's take a look here. I'll go ahead and keep the nine. Okay. Nine of clubs there for me to track them down. Uh, if I'm gonna do it as well, then I I'll use my jack. Mm. Okay. So yeah, you can you can be my eyes. Okay, so uh, you used the nine of. Clubs. Nine of clubs, yes. Yeah, okay. So nine of clubs and a jack of spades. That means Howard, you have a success with a boon, and Noel has a success with a complication. Mm hmm. If you drop me, I swear to God. I'm not going to drop you. I'm s- I've specifically trained myself to carry people while doing this. It's fine. I've only concussed one person, and they were being very rude at the time. So, that's on them. So, there. You follow them? Uh, At first, it looks like he's going about his day as usual. He he stops by the bakery, seems to get a box... Like like a few donut, like a bag of donuts or something, uh, and and, uh, and some coffee. He goes to the office for like two hours. He stops at a dry cleaner, not the same one that you were at, but he stops at mm-hmm. a dry cleaner. Um, they go to the mart. Uh, they stop at a deli for lunch. And then he drives out of town. Mm-hmm. And then that's where things kind of get interesting. Uh, he drives past the where they um where Jackie Parsons' little compound is, mm-hmm. and sort of to the next land lot over. It's a dirt driveway. But a little seemingly rustic cabin at the at the end of the, the dirt driveway. Alright. Hmm. Reminds me of home. Cute little place. Alright. No, I mean the gas station. Oh. Sure. There's that. Um so Seeing this, uh, I will uh, take to the tree line and uh, continue to watch from there. Um, can I see anything in the windows from uh, from hiding out towards the trees? Uh, perception 
sense again? Sure. Let's see what you give me. Alright, let's find ouch. Let's take a look here. Where is my sheet? Just to double check. I think I got two draws on that. Uh perception, yeah, two. Okay. And Take a look here. I'll go ahead and keep the four of uh, spades there. Okay. Uh, you don't. You can't see much. Um, no. You know, and you see that uh, the vehicle that just drove in is the only vehicle currently there. Uh, mm -hmm. there there's like a trash can. Somebody's definitely been staying here in some capacity. There's there's fresh you know garbage in the, in the can mm -hmm. um there there's like a there's a big window that faces uh jackie parsons compound you can see like binoculars in the window but you haven't seen anybody or anything mm -hmm. hmm I'm not Sorry. sure about you, Mr. Hardy, but it appears to me that these people are watching Miss Parsons and her um, <clears throat> activities. They're either keeping an eye out for her or keeping an eye out on her. And I'm not sure which is worse for us right now. Why not both? Why not both? Fair enough. All right. Well... At some point, we need to let our uh, our host for the evening know uh, who and what's coming his way. Do we want to see if we can figure out what's going on out here, or do we want to head back to town and get him cornered? I was going to f suggest we could potentially split up, mm -hmm. but seeing as you are my only method of transportation in and out and around currently, right. as much as I have to test it, we can't do that. Mm hmm. Hmm. Is it possible for us to sneak in? Or would we probably be noticed? If he does see us, it will raise more questions than we can sufficiently answer. Mm. Especially with your unique way of tackling anything. Look. I got a hammer. Everything looks like a nail. I'll be the first to admit it. Um, however, it's been really handy today. Just going to throw that one out there. Um, um, we can... I mean, we've got... Hmm. Yeah, unless we want to... I mean, I'm not terribly sneaky. I, I don't know if you are. Uh... No, but I am surprisingly good at deception. Fair enough. I mean, if you want to go ahead and try and slip in, I can be here on the outside just in case you need a little bit of help. You know, I'm sure if something goes down, you can make enough noise that I can uh, be able to slip in there pretty quick. Mm, you can be surprised. I Alternatively, like I can slip in there. You can go and alert our host and mm. come back instantly whilst I snoop around. Sure. Yeah. Shall we do that? Yeah, that sounds good. All, All right. right. I will see if I can find a phone somewhere out here. Uh, there's, I think there's got to be a phone booth somewhere in the neighborhood, right? There could be a phone inside. Inside here? The place that we're trying to sneak into? Mm-hmm. Maybe. Um, well, okay. I, 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 you're probably right. I just don't think that's going to be the best idea to call <laughs> the people who we're trapping from the people who we are trapping. I never said it was a particularly good idea. Okay, fair, fair. You did. You, you didn't. <laughs> uh, there is one at the Parsons compound, but you're just far enough outside of the city that there's not a phone booth unless you head back in a little bit yeah and parsons compound that's uh that's dicey that's in uh an oof yeah that's a big ol oof um 
Hmm. Hmm. Well, unless you plan on flying all the way there. Alternatively, I can try and even up your odds a bit if you go into Miss Parsons' compound. You know what? That's probably not a bad idea. Yeah, if you want to... All right. You have flicked your deck at least once, right? What do you mean? I can't use your abil my ability on your deck again if unless you've actually turned over at least a card. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, wonderful. Okay. So I'll flick the next three set of cards up. Mm-hmm. Yikes. There Ooh. we go. Okay. okay. All right. Move these around into that order. Yep. So you've got king, five, four. Yep. As your next set of cards. Sounds good. All right. That should be your uh, probability evened up a bit. All right. Thank mother for her ability. That's that's a we. I don't know. That feels weird <clears throat> and tingly. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna get to getting. So uh, good luck. Don't die. Mm, I'll try not to. If I do, though, you'll be the first to know. All right. You know what? That, I'm I'm not even gonna ask. And <laughs> I will. And uh, I will uh, do a low putter back off to uh, the Moon Children compound. Okay. How do I you? Guess how do you plan on getting into the compound? So, he, he, here's my thought. Um, the front door. So, I'm going to, you know, use flights to actually get there. And then, uh, as soon as I, you know, get near the compound, I am going to hit the ground and then just walk in. Okay. As you do. Uh, when you do, when you do, um, a few people that are there look at you oddly, um, uh, and then, uh, somebody comes outside from the main building and is like, yep. uh, can I help you, sir? Yeah, I, look, I'm real sorry. I was, I was out here a couple of nights ago and, um, you know, and I was driving by and my car broke down. Any chance that I could borrow a phone? <laughs> Okay, um, that's going to be a deception. Yep, and roll. I'll go ahead and use that king. Okay, uh, which means you have a success. Uh, he, oh, yes, I, I remember you. Uh, no problem, no problem. Yes, go, come on, come in. Come <sighs> thank in. you. Thank you so much. Oh, thank the god for that king. <laughs> All right, yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, is there like just, just an office where I can sit down and like kind of put myself together before calling? I'm... I've never been much for these cars and, you know. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. You can use my office back here. Thank you, thank you. And so I will uh, grab a seat and, you know, thank him kindly, shut the door, and hop on the phone. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> uh, uh, do you does anybody have in their notes? Because I don't have mine in front of me. What uh, I named the mafia boss. I know the daughter's name is Hannah Joseph, but okay, that works. That 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 that's, that works. Uh, All right. So I will call. You know, I assume somewhere throughout the day while he was at work. You know, we landed and looked at a phone book to get the the restaurant's number. Um. I'll pick up the phone. Yeah, can I please speak to uh, to Mr. Joseph, please? <clears throat> One moment. Uh, and, and after about 45 seconds, uh, <clears throat> somebody picks up and just... This is uh, Mr. Cartwright. Uh, Mr. Joseph trusted. Associate. Uh, may I ask who's calling? My name is uh, Noel Hardy. I met Mr. Joseph uh, the other day after an incident with his daughter that uh, my associates and I helped take care of. Ah, oh, yes, Mr. Hardy. Glad to hear from you. 
Could I please speak to Mr. Joseph? This is of the utmost importance. Absol in absolutely. I am sure he will be happy to hear from you. Just give me one moment. Absolutely. Uh, about two minutes later this time. Yep. This is Mr. Joseph. Mr. Joseph, Mr. Hardy here. I was uh, calling to let you know that it is incredibly likely that an individual who is behind the attempted kidnapping of your daughter is going to be dining at your establishment tonight at five o'clock. Now that is interesting information, Mr. Hardy. <laughs> Thought you'd like to know. Yes. Um, you'll be able to know him because myself and uh, uh, my companion that you also met, Mr. Ghosty, uh, he and I will be uh, he and I will be uh, ostensibly dining with him. He assumes that we are uh, uh, not what we appear to be. So I wanted to just let you know what the score was and that uh assume we're tailing him for the time being and uh everything going according to plan will have him for you tonight so we can all learn a little bit more about what's going on in our fair city here well done mr hardy thank you for this information i will me and my associates will be waiting for him. excellent looking forward to seeing you again and you as well Mm. And uh, stay safe out there. Likewise. And I will hang up the phone. Um, I will pick up the phone another time and uh, loudly imitate a, uh, a conversation between myself and a mechanic and uh, then beg off. Okay. She's just saying, I'm going to go wait with my car. I'm good. Perfect. <clears throat> and Howard, what do you do while this happens? Howard kind of like looks at the house and goes, Right! How am I going to do this? And can I look at the house and try and find any way of getting in from where I am? Any like, not through the front door, obviously, but alternative ways. Um... Well, and there, there is the windows, but you can't tell how many rooms are, like, if there, you can't tell if there's, uh, like, if it all leads into one main area of the cabin, or if you'd be in a separate room or not from here. Um, I, I mean, there's limited cover to, like, if you wanted to sneak up to the actual house, but getting in might be difficult. Hmm. I'll go to the window and kind of crouch by it and see if I can just poke my head up and look through. Okay. Try and be as, like, sneakily as possible. Uh, give me agility stealth, if you have it. Oh, God, I don't have stealth. Okay. There's one. There's two. I'll take the king. Hmm. Okay, so, King of Diamonds, that is successful. You, you've managed to sneak up the window without being seen. You look up over. Uh, there is a small door in one corner that leads to like maybe a small bathroom or something. You can't really tell from your angle, but otherwise, it's mostly all one area. This window leads to that one area. You can see... Uh, there are three men inside the cabin. Uh, they are tear. Uh, two of them are like tearing up some papers, um, throwing other stuff in a pile. While one of them has a gas can that he is pouring around the outer edge of the the cabin. Hmm. Okay. Uh, what can I do? <laughs> um. <laughs> Ah, this is where we need Flo and her and um, their um, emotion manipulation. Right. Is it possible, because there's no range on this thing, to use my mani probability manipulation to effectively screw up their ability to pour gas 
like petroleum around. Uh, you you could use your probability manipulation to affect their ability to do things. Yes, <laughs> it, w- it would it's... basically be me drawing the next three cards for me, and then. Because yeah. I really like to use this as a way to screw them up. Okay. They probably run out of gas. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, there's. Let's see. So, I'll, here are the next three cards for me. Okay. Well, I'll change it into numeric order. So they start off with the five first. Uh, I know the six is obviously the complication one. Ah, uh, let's oh. see. Look at this. I don't know what the target is for, like them running out of fuel, them not having matches on them, or whatever. Either way, something bad. I'm hoping will happen. Who knows? Maybe one of them will catch themselves on fire. <laughs> I was about to say, then we can't question them, but no, no, that doesn't really stop you, does it? No, that doesn't. <laughs> that okay. helps me, actually. Me so, one of these guys is going to... actually be drawing uh, just on his expertise in an attempt to get the... As a general rule, I guess, this is them trying to get rid of making sure they're getting rid of all the information, doing a good job of actually pouring gasoline around. Sure. Uh, with a five of diamonds, they don't have a full like success here. So, uh, you're right. They don't have enough gasoline to properly spread it around, which means that It'll, of course, it'll still burn. It's like a wood, rustic wood cabin. It'll still burn, but without the proper amount of gasoline, it's going to take longer, and it's not going to just go up. Right. Um. How long do you wait? Do you, do you just wait for them to, to do what they're doing? Because eventually they're going to gather up the stuff they're taking and they're going to try to light it on fire, which will be another draw for them. Uh, I'm going to... I'll obviously see what they're doing, shuffle around their probability, and then try and run back... Oh, no, hang on. I... Would they have to come outside to burn all the stuff? Well, they're, they're, they're likely going to do that, yes. Yeah, okay. So if I run to the tree line, I could probably manipulate them there and yep. try and somehow screw up their ability to light it on fire correctly. Okay. So they, they walk out, one of them pulls out like a Zippo lighter uh, and the six of the complication, he throws it in the building. Um, and what happens is they don't think it through really well. They're not standing far enough away. When you throw a lighter into a building full of gas, there's an initial flash. Mm -hmm. And then the the building starts burning, but they all get knocked to the ground. One of them is unconscious. One of them has, like, a piece of the front door, like, sticking in his neck or something. Ooh. Uh, the the other is still awake, but obviously injured. All right, hmm. wonderful. Okay. Um, so one injured, one is pretty much dead, and the other is what was that? Sorry again. Uh, and then there was one in, one one's unconscious. Oh, okay. Which one of them was the one that we met at the... Uh, the the unconscious guy is the one you met at the park. Good. Okay. I'm just trying to think. How do I make it so we appease the mafia boss? 
I think we just, uh, you know, can I be arriving right about this time? <laughs> yeah. Can All you right. imagine just arriving, you see Howard there, like, I wonder what else I can do. Howard! Howard! I was gone for 15 minutes! <laughs> Well, obviously that was 15 minutes too long. Clearly! <laughs> you said I w It was going so well! Howard! In my defense, all oh. I did... All I did was manipulate the probability of events happening. It is their own fault that one of them died, got unconscious, and burned everything down. All right, all right, all right, all right, fine. Fine, fine. Okay. Besides, so now we have fresh meat to question. Okay. The guy, but I I find the guy that um was uh that was our contact, quote unquote. Um, I I pull him away from the burning building. I check his pockets. Does he, does he have his car keys on him? Yes. Presumably he does. Yes. Okay. Cool. Cool. We've got a way back into town now. Um. So what we're going to do, yeah, so I go to his car. Uh, does he have, like, some rope in the back? Yeah. Cool. All right. So I've got to hog tie him, um, throw him in the back of the car, and uh, there's one guy that's unconscious as well. Uh, he's he's still kind of awake, but he, he's he's pretty injured. Okay. Um, so I'm going to, um, with the other guy taken care of, I'm going to go over to this guy. All right, then. Made a right mess of yourself there, didn't you? Oh, God. Help me, please. You sure you want the help of a caper? Your caper? Yeah. Uh, Can I, like, scream by? Mr. How Hardy, do remember we're supposed to be cleaners. Clean up the mess. Look. Uh, he's trying to reach for his gun when you say caper. I... Bat his hand away and I'll disarm him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. Now, look, I don't want this to get any more messy than it's going to have to be because it's going to get do. messy. I know you do. Hey, why don't you go and handle the other one? Because I know that's what you want to do. <laughs> so here's the deal. You're going to talk to me and you're going to tell me absolutely everything I want to know or how he's going to talk to you. And he will get everything we want to know. He's very good at his job. And so am I. Unlike you. And I will gesture to the burning house behind him. That is, he murdered himself with. <laughs> you tell me what I want to know. And maybe, just maybe, we can go ahead and figure out something. But right now, it's not looking so good. So what's it going to be, my friend? What do you want to know? Where's the capers? Where are you taking them? Portland. Portland? What's in Portland? Training facility. You're super soldiering them. Yeah. Huh. All right. How long has this been going on? Three months. Okay. All right. Howard, any other questions? Uh. Sounds like we're going to Portland. Oh God, I detest Portland. I never been. I heard it's nice. Is there any connection between them and the moon children? Yeah, what was with your little spy setup you got out here? <clears throat> the moon children have been fighting us. They've been trying to stop us. <sighs> They've been wait, trying to stop you? I thought they were, uh, I thought y'all were, were working with them. Saw a bunch of uh, anti-caper stuff on their side too. Not to mention the initial murder that caused all of this debacle. Oh, that too, yeah. They... They thought he was working with us. They 
They tried to kill, but we, they stole information from us. That, oh, hoo, hoo. that's, that's we realized we need to start keeping an eye on them. Hmm. All right, maybe they're, might be neutral in all this then. All right. Fine. Um. All right, Howie, why don't you go ahead and uh, talk to the other guy there? Do you have any questions in particular you would like me to ask? Not really. Actually, he's been pretty forthcoming. Then what do you want me to take care of? Well, I didn't know if you had other questions. You, you just seem to like to do your work. I do very much enjoy my work. I was giving you, you an up. I was giving you an opportunity to do what you love. Um, yes, but if there's no point, then why risk my very soul? Oh, I didn't realize your soul was on the line. Oh no, it always is. It's just more fun that way. <sighs> okay, fine. Um. So I'm going to tie up our uh, our wounded, uh, very cooperative captive here, and uh, I think we uh, we all go out for a nice Italian dinner tonight. How's that sound? Perhaps we should clean up the mess they left behind. Uh, at I, this point, you're starting I to look, hear sirens in the distance. I look at the fire. Fires tends to take care of itself in its own way. I think. Okay, we should... but the body. Um, the body I will. Just to throw it in the fire? I was like... gonna. I was gonna say. I just. I, I lift up the body. Um, actually, real quick, I check the body for evidence. Uh, he has like a an I a badge and ID that's like I don't know John Henry or something on uh, mm -hmm. his name. John Henry. And... Yep. All right, but no, no, like nothing in you know uh, about what is been going on. No. Okay. So what I am going to do is I am going to take the body and use flights to just kind of like lift it into the fire. And uh, that way, the fire takes care of everything. But the badge is metal. So they will find this badge of an officer in a fire in the middle of the woods, and that will raise questions. That would raise questions, yeah. It's, you know, it, leaving a paper trail for ourselves when, you know, when this all comes crashing down. Um, let's go ahead. So, yeah, I'm, I turn to Howard. Let's go ahead. Let's head back into town. Uh, We'll go see our uh, our friend. They he's going to be waiting for us, and uh, we will go ahead and uh, give them our new friends over here, and uh, they can take care of it from there, and we can make arrangements to head to Portland. And as we drive out, maybe we can figure out a little bit, you know, something a little bit more specific than Portland. Yes. Well, I'll ring up my contact. Mm. I guess. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, so yeah, I take the uh, unconscious guy. And, well, I mean, he's already loaded into his own car. And then I take the conscious guy and, you know, stack him in there next to him. And uh, we'll head back into town. Okay. And you just go straight to the Italian restaurant? Yeah. The longer we have these people in our car, the worse it's going to be. Okay. Hang on, I have, like, one question as to how we're going to do this. Sure. He's tied up currently yes. in the back of his own car. Yes. When he comes to, what exactly are we going to say? I mean, at this point, we kind of got him over a barrel. I assumed when I tied him up, I, uh, you know, patted him down, checked him for more weapons, uh, yeah. removed said weapons. Um, he's boned at this so point. Well, like, are we going to walk into the restaurant with a man bounding the gag going, like, here you go? No, what we're going to do is we're going to get to the restaurant. I will hop out of the car and, you know, go to uh, go to our uh, um, the individual that we're meeting with. And then we w I'll say it's like, hey, we got him out in the car. Things took a turn, but we still got him for you. <laughs> um, and then 
we'll we'll you know probably honestly drive around back unload them into the the mob's hands and this is sounding worse the more i'm talking about it but we really don't have a whole lot of other options right now oh, i love how we all started this game so innocently like oh yeah private investigators this one mafia <laughs> to be fair the mafia is the good guys right now it's not uh, like we can take him to the cops. Like, Blue Shield's gonna go up. Oh, uh, I love it. <laughs> enemy, can't is my, enemy, my enemy is my friend. <laughs> I, we can't risk the Blue Shield. Yeah, so... Can't risk it. Yeah. And... Mm -hmm. uh, as soon as you go in, like, when you go inside, you're like, our plans have accelerated a bit. He yes. Kicks everybody out of the restaurant. Cooks. Mm -hmm. Anybody who's not part of his actual organization. I will God. lean over and ask him to keep one cook. I am a bit hungry. <laughs> Frankie can cook for you. It's fine. Cool. Um, and somebody. Do either of them need a doctor? Uh, yeah. Yeah. He's. I mean, I we, we patched him as well as we could. But I'm, I'm a field surgeon at best. Which means I'm better at cutting things off than keeping him on there. Wait. We were trying to patch them together. Oh, I thought we were trying to accelerate it. Mm. No, just... <laughs> yeah, I'll call a doctor. Call, yeah. call a doctor. Call a... <laughs> but we, we have a couple of medics. On the I, I figured you had somebody discreet. Yeah, yeah. They'll be on the way over. And again, um, Mr. Howard, I, I thank you for this. Uh, what exactly happened to accelerate things? Yeah, you, I, you didn't exactly fill me in on that. I just showed up to a burning cabin. I uh, <clears throat> have a natural way with manipulating the odds, so to speak. That tells me nothing. Okay, long story short, they screwed up trying mm -hmm. to burn down the house. I may have helped a little bit. <laughs> Uh, I, I get that, I get that. No, I, I, I don't think you understand, sir, but sure, no, we'll no, go No, no, I understand. That. I let you manipulate it. You tugged on some strings. and But the, the thing about burning down a building is it's a fine art. Too much gas, and you're wrong, not enough, you're wrong. You don't vent the house properly, you could end up with a flash. Not mm. far enough away, you could hurt yourself. You know, you, they... It's a, it's a it's a fine art of doing it right, so you don't end up with a mess like they have. Apparently, precisely. I wasn't always a mafia boss. Sometimes you have to clean up messes when you're on the lower end. Yeah, it makes sense. Oh, I have my father to do that for me. <laughs> Gonna just move on past that, right? So. What we found out is that their operation is uh, leads north to Portland. We need to know where in Portland we're going, because at this point, I'm I'm committed to following this to its end. Hmm. Portland. Well, I can I can ask around. I can pull some strings. Maybe get some people to, to look around. Uh, and I don't don't you have many contacts that far north, but. I might. Uh, Do you happen to have a phone I can borrow? I. Uh, yeah. Follow Jimmy there. He can take your phone. Uh, Wonderful. But yeah, I don't. Uh, but uh, this whole abducting capers business is. Not good Mess for, for a lot of people. So I'm sure I can reach out. Tell them what's going on. And they'll be. When things aren't good for people, they're more willing to cooperate to change that. That's a fact. So hopefully we can change change some things around and, uh, you know, get some information. Here's hoping. Uh, but, uh, how are they getting them to Portland? Are they transporting them by truck? Ship. Hmm. We weren't able to track that one down yet. I suppose we could just hop on a boat and, you know, wait. But that seems like it will take longer than uh, just going up there. 
Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. Well, um, man, but if their boat's still in the dock, maybe you can figure out where they're taking him from the boat. Oh, that good call. Be a bad idea to ch- check out the boat. Mm. If you need backup to do so, you just let me know. Will do. Invested in uh, seeing this to its end as well. Hmm. Good to know. All right. Well, let's uh, let's. Uh, uh, Howard, did you have any other question? Well, you no. Howard's checking on the phone, so yeah, you can no, bounce I, over to him. Uh, I'm gonna call up my contact from my family and see if they know any caper movement, large caper movements, conflicted with the government in Portland. Okay. Or if they can at least scope out beforehand. Uh, do you do you call specifically your father, or do you call somebody else? I, I always call my father specifically, because okay. I don't want to talk to anyone else. <laughs> I detest talking to literally anyone else in that area. Okay. <clears throat> Hello? Hello, father. Oh, good. How did you call me back? What do you... Oh, you called me again. Uh, what do you need now? A favor, and yes, I'll repay you in the usual interrogation methods that you so seem to love me for. Good, good. What kind of favor can I help you with? Portland, do you have any contacts around there that can investigate something for me? Yeah, I got a couple of people in the area for some business details. There seems to be a very large movement of our people, well, the capers specifically. I don't know if any of your people specifically are tied up in it, but the government seems to be kidnapping them and wanting to train them as uh, weapons in a way. Mm. I hope you understand the severity of this and will act accordingly. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, and you said it's the government, the moving people? Yes. Hmm. We tracked down an outreach of it to Pasadena. Apparently they're going by ship and we'll track down on that end. Okay, well, I'll look into it. I'll see what, what uh, shady buildings they've they've got and stuff. It might be hard, but we'll look into it. If anybody can find it, we can. Mm. Wonderful. I'll fulfill whatever requests you need me to do at a later date. We'll organize that later. Good. I'm glad to hear it. Is there anything else I can do for you, Father? Or anything? Um, make sure you call your mother. She wants to hear from you. Again, tell her to stop crippling gamb- gambling away all of our life savings and my inheritance money, and then maybe I shall. Just because she can manipulate probability as well does not mean she is allowed to gamble. Mm, she thinks too. She's, you know your mother. She's very independent. Doesn't like being told what to do. I know. Very well then. Goodbye, Father. Stay safe. Whenever you're messing with. No, that sounds dangerous. Don't get yourself killed. You're the one who owns a literal crime empire. I. You won't accept my my protection, so. I have protection, but you don't. Yes, and I can raise the dead. You can't. Yes, but um, if you're dead, you can't raise the dead. That sounds like a challenge, and I gladly accept. Goodbye, and I hang up the phone, like, violently. <laughs> <coughs> okay, you, you have a couple of people uh, looking into some information for you. Uh, and, uh, sounds like you're planning on uh, trying to track down a ship. Hmm. We can track down the ship, or we can head up and hope that your folks can can track down from there. Might be able to find incoming an incoming ship easier than an outgoing one. I'm not sure. I'm not talking to him again, not for several weeks. All right. So, uh, to the docks, then? To the docks. All right. Okay. Oh, and uh, between you and me, yes. if we could not inform flow of my familial connections if you overheard that 
Yeah. I would rather not. Getting over here enough to... I know something's going on, but I'm... You know, I'm discreet. Mm. Of course you are. All right. Okay. So, we're going to go to a quick little break. It's about that time. We'll be back in about 10, 15 minutes. <coughs> okay. And when we come back, we will see if we can find a boat and what it entails. Cool, cool. Okay.
Hello, and welcome back to 15 Days in Pasadena, a Capers Noir. They just met up with a individual in <clears throat> who seems to be uh, at least the head of the operation in, here in Pasadena. Uh, they followed him to a cabin in the woods where they attempted to burn down a building and uh, injured themselves in the process, burning it, try, attempting to burn it down. Uh, they learned some information uh, that their capers are being taken to Portland, and they were about. Oh, and they delivered the two to the men uh, that were injured in the explosion to the. Mafia, mafia buffs, Mr. Joseph, uh, who's currently patching them up before they attempt uh, to get any more information out of them. And uh, they were about to head off and see if they could find, learn anything from the boats uh, that have been taking people, or from the boat that's been taking people to Portland. Okay. Alrighty. Take them the motorcycle, or do you fly? Or do you take the the, the guy's car? Um, we'll probably take the motorcycle just because if they know this guy, they'll know his car, and it'll be very suspicious if we turn up in some dude's car that they know. It'll be fine. That's fair. Look, this is this is the this is all the foresight you're getting from Noel for the rest of the day. <laughs> okay. So am I hitching a ride with you on the back of your motorcycle then? Uh I mean that makes most sense. Okay. Okay. All right. Simple enough to d drive over to the docks, and when you when you get there, there's a usual uh, activity. Uh, there's uh, varying boats. Uh, I don't know if I ever gave. Did I give? He gave you a name of the boat you were looking for, right? Mm-hmm. Did he? I think it was one of the guys. From... I mean, I definitely would have asked about that, even if he, if uh, we didn't. Yeah. It's... Yeah. All right. We'll we'll say it's like. Um... Uh, Neptune's something. Uh. <clears throat> Neptune. I can imagine it being taken so literal as the boat is actually named as Neptune something. <laughs> yeah, that works. It's Neptune something. They couldn't come are. up with a better name, so Neptune something is the boat you're looking for. All right. Um. So yeah, we get down to the docks, and uh, what time of day is it? Uh, you left early in the morning. It's probably close to midday by now. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, we will uh, get down to the docks. Um, once we get down there and the motorcycle stops, I'll uh, turn to, to Howard. It's like, all right, how do we want to handle this? Ah, uh, right. Um... Honestly, I have no idea. Usually it's Flo that comes up with the ideas on this front. Yeah, I'm missing Flo right now, I'll be honest. Um, I mean, I guess... So for, for ships, there are charters. I mean, they, 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 we've got to know exactly where they're coming in and going to. Um, we should be able to walk the docks without getting... Uh, too much of a of a funny look. Of course. 
And I think this is the time when I should probably change up our probability, shouldn't I? Probably be helpful. Because knowing us, we're going to somehow, in some way, make a catastrophe of this. Uh, I mean, yes, there is that. Yeah. Actually, no, I think I've... Have I already manipulated your deck? Have you yeah, got my stuff? yeah, I've I've still got those two stinkers up there. Yeah, I I can't do anything with those actually. All right. Well, I guess I'll just be quiet and uh, you'll take lead on this one. All right. I'll I'll manipulate my deck then. Oh. Yeah, I can work. Yeah, we can work with that. Now, considering the fact that I pulled both a queen and jack of hearts mm -hmm. on this one makes me terrified it's but fine. i digress actually i'm going to rearrange it so the jack is first mm -hmm. and then the queen smart and then we have the complication okay righty then all right is there not an office or something somewhere where we can get Collective records of all the ships coming in and out. Ostensibly, yeah. Um, I will look around for a map of the docks. Uh, yeah, you can find one. Okay, cool. Yeah, and is there uh, is there uh, an office marked on there? Yeah. Um, Check out cool. these results. Yeah, you can find a office. It's not. It's not too far. All right, we we go to the office. It's Off a. The office it's, like a it's it's almost like a shack. More sure. Than anything. It's just kind of a place where they they keep papers in there. There's one uh, older gentleman uh, mm -hmm. sitting behind the the window. Sure. If only we had Flo's Department of Justice badge right now. Yep. How good's your forgery? Well, not bad, honestly. Of course. Right. Do I scare him to death and question him later, or...? Um... I mean, he's pretty old at that point. It's just natural selection. Well... Well, I recognize that we have done some questionable things in the last several hours. I don't think just straight up murdering a guy working at the docks is going to be the best way for us to to go forward. I think we can just probably talk our way into it. Easy for you to say. Hmm. Mr. Charismatic. Nah, just lucky. Hmm. Even worse. Hmm. Oh, well, after you. That's the probability guy. Yes, just because I have probability and deception does not make me good at speaking to people. Yeah, but it makes you lucky. No, it just and, makes me very calculated. And I'll be honest, I don't feel too good about my luck right this moment. To be fair, your luck is absolutely abysmal. Have right. fun with that. All right. I will uh, approach this individual. Okay. Uh, can I help you, sir? Yeah, um, hi. I I know this is strange. Um, I need to see, do you, is there a, like a ledger of who is going in and out and like, like a, a list of the charters of where, where ships are going? Oh, well, there is, but, um, uh, unless you're one of the boats, I can't really show that to you. Is your captain or something? No, I completely understand. It's Let just that. With a puppy. Hmm. Um, yeah, it's just we're, we're we're looking for a friend of ours. We're not exactly sure where the boat is going to or from or when it's coming in. Um, we just need to 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 see how long we've got to track him down. I mean, I completely, I completely understand, but, but you know, these records are 
uh, uh, protected information of a sort. And without some kind of, uh, you know, documentation or something, uh, I can't really hand them over. Gotcha. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Um, hmm. Hmm. All right. Uh, you know what? Uh, let me. I'm gonna see if I can track track him down by phone. I might be back a little bit later. All right. I'll, I'll, uh, thank you very much for your time. No, of course. You have a good day. He looks you a little too. disappointed when you walk away. Uh, but like, like he was hoping you might catch another meeting, in his words. But he. Mm -hmm. Sure. Sure. I just didn't know what what he meant by other documentation. Um, hey, he was probably hoping you might try to bribe him. Oh, yeah. oh. Cool for that. L little little paper. Uh, yeah. <laughs> let me take a look here. Um, let me take a look here. I've got money. I know I've got money. Hold on. I think I've, I I didn't write it on my sheet on the website, but I've got it on my iPad here. Let's see how much cash I've got here for for bribery. Oh. Uh, yeah, I got some cash. Um, I will walk back to the motorcycle. I will put up a single finger to, to Howard. I will make like I'm going for something put my you know pretend like i'm putting something in my back pocket pull out a little bit and um i will slide 40 bucks uh across the the deck across the desk you can kind of feel like howard waiting outside like are you honestly giving him money do you God. have do you have a more subtle idea howard did you not think that you're a private investigator, that you have documentation to investigate, granted we, by the law? We don't have any documentation. How would, like, reach them pulls out his documentation? Like, I've got oh. my license. Oh. Yeah, that, that, that'll that work. Come on, let's go. <clears throat> Ugh. How would just kind of walks in and slabs it down, like... As per required by the law, I have full legal authority to investigate your ships. If you would be so kind, sir. All right, why didn't you just say so the first time? Yeah. Because my friend is an idiot. Your friend is new. <laughs> oh, no, I, I don't my know. point stands. He's the legend. You can see all the ships currently in the port when they're all supposed right. to leave. And... Neptune something. What's it say for that? Uh, it's supposed to the next. It's supposed to depart in two days, mm -hmm. uh, and it is. Uh, technically, the ship itself is going to Astoria. Okay. Because uh, uh, it has it has to go to Astoria, so they can mm -hmm. unload the contents of the boat in the port there, and then to Portland. Mm hmm. Intriguing. Right. So, could be going to Portland, could be going to Astoria. Yes. All right. Well, so. sounds like a great day to do stowaway. <sighs> we should probably let Flo know. I mean, we've got a couple uh, of days before we need to get on the boat, but um, we have had enough trouble on our own without her and frankly don't wanna <laughs> mm, yes we're, we're we're managing but uh but i am definitely feeling just a little adrift without the the, the usual planner well i guess what do we call her uh, them to we call them yeah let's um we can head back into town real quick and just you know pop on the horn mm -hmm. let him know what's going on and then uh i mean i think our leads in town have dried up um you know if you're uh 
if your pa finds something, then maybe we can skip a step and, you I know. I prefer if you didn't mention him. I wasn't going to. But if your people can find something, maybe we can uh, skip a step and head right up to Portland. Otherwise, we reconvene in two days and we, uh, we away stow. Well, I probably, well, they, my people, probably have property up in Portland that we can hold out in for a while. Sure. Or at least they can purchase property and we'll know the price of their property. Um, either way, we should be fine in the event that we need to stow away. All right. Sounds good. All right, so, um, yeah, I guess the plan for right now is we're uh, in a holding pattern. I will give Flo a call, let him know what's going on, and then we can, uh, you know, in about a day, we will reconvene, see what Howard's people have found, and decide what we do from there. Okay. All right. Um, I mean, you can also go uh, check out, uh, see if the people that you left with the mob boss are awake. They have any more information? Mm. Yeah, I mean, we can we can give that a day. We can do that tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, give them give them a day to see what they can find out because they're they're in this with us at this point. Absolutely, and so clarify what are you doing one again? So we're gonna we're gonna wait till tomorrow, and then we will like I'll keep flow up to date, and then uh, in the morning we'll uh, uh, I will reach back out to our contacts at the restaurant and uh, see if they've uncovered anything okay. else about yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so you can um, go. You get food rest for the day uh, and then in the morning you uh, reach out and you head over to talk to Mr. Joseph mm-hmm. okay alright um, we'll head <clears throat> in and uh, you know announce ourselves I imagine people are starting to know who we are at this point and uh, we'll sit down with Mr. Joseph and see what he's uncovered. <clears throat> Good to see both of you again. Um, the the gentleman you live with me aren't saying a whole lot that we haven't learned yet, but it does seem like I can confirm that they're being moved to Portland. To Portland, definitely. Not a store. Well, yeah, uh, if they're moving by boat, they may have to go to Astoria first, because Portland's inland, so they're probably taking them to Astoria first, and then... And then lo- moving them from there. All right. Well, uh, actually, but... that's it... helpful, actually. I don't have a lot of details, but they, see, they, there was chatter about a mysterious uh, private school that went up. It's only been a day, so I don't know a lot. I don't know its hmm. location, but there's a mysterious uh, private school that went up that nobody seems to actually have any kids in. In Portland? Yes. Okay. Could they make it any more obvious? Good lord. All right. Well, they probably weren't expecting people to be looking into it yet. I mean, we're, you know, we're a rare breed at this point. So are we though? I mean, obviously they're kidnapping enough 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 of us to make an army for it. Yeah, but the you don't need too many of us to make an army for it. Mm, depends on the power selection. I'm not exactly good with combat abilities, now am I? Uh, no, but you're you know, you have other talents, and so do I. But we need to figure out. Hmm, all right. So how do we want to tackle this? Do we want to take the boat, or do we want to take a car? We'd better off take the boat. That way we can get rough estimates of this current shipment and at least know for definite the kind of routes they're tracking. 
If we can know that, then we have ways of disrupting them. I mean, I feel my only problem with that is that then we have to hide on a boat for like three days, which is going to get rough. Why are you fee I mean, it. We just have to hide for several days, <clears throat> not only from uh, from the crew, but also from the cargo. Why would we? What to say we weren't kidnapped and put alongside with them? Because uh, then we have to get ourselves all bound up and whatnot, and we don't know what kind of condition they're keeping them in once they get on the boat. For well, obviously the... they have to keep them alive, now don't they? Alive, but chained up at best. Maybe knocked out or something, drugged. Oh. Ugh. And the food situation's going to be rough at best. Of course, it's a boat. What did you expect? But if we don't go through the boat situation, then we won't know the route they're taking, and we will not know hardly anything until we actually oh. get to Portland. Well, if we don't know anything when we get to Portland, then how on earth are we supposed to prepare and adapt? Surely well, someone like you would be able to see that coming from your well, background. I, I can, but here's my thought. We take a car up to Astora, and then we track down the boat from there, and then we tail. That sounds surprisingly reasonable. It's just gonna, you know... the. It's going to come with its own complications. We are going to have to lie low, but we'll have to lie low for, you know, a day while they're unloading the folk. And if you've got contacts up there, they may be able to help us out with that. Maybe they've got, uh, you know, somebody on the docks who can actually keep an eye out for us while we uh, head up that way. Mm. I do detest having to talk to them. Very well. And you won't have to eat in front of us. You make it sound like it's a problem. It's it's just weird. What, it's me fine. Eating? No, you you know what? Another time. Another time. We've I'm not entirely sure what you're on about. I am perfectly fine with I am a perfectly fine functioning human being, thank you very much. So yeah, if you can get a hold of your contacts, I'll get a hold of Flo. We can, I mean, I'm sorry. I need to, I need to very quickly Google maps the route from, uh, from port, from Pasadena to Portland. It's going to be a trip. Yeah, no, it's a, that's, that's, that's California. <laughs> yeah. That's all of California and most of Oregon. Um, going over my head. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, woo. Okay, so, um, at least with modern conveyances, it's about a fourteen-hour drive. Now, so, then factor in nineteen forty. Yeah, so we're probably looking at a day's worth of travel. So we need to leave. Actually, no, not not Portland. I, I, I need, we need Astora. That's what it is. Let's take a look here, see if that sh uh, shortens anything up. I know, actually, it, it'll make it longer because the story is on the top side of the state. Yeah, so is Portland. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, a story is like uh, two hours above. Yeah, that's about, about an hour, about an hour or so north. Yeah, so yeah, we're looking at about a day, a solid day of travel. Um,. So yeah, if we if we take turns driving, we can we could get up there by this time tomorrow, but we need to leave now. All right. All right. I'll see so, you then. All right. Yeah, let's Also, uh, if this um if the guy just there listening to all of this as we continue on. I mean, he's thing? he's in. He's in on this. He yeah, knows. He did. Um uh, do you need to borrow a car or anything? That, uh, yeah, actually, if you've got a if you've got a, a loaner that we could use and uh, maybe some gas, absolutely. Uh, and any supplies that you can offer, gear, whatever, whatever you think you might be able to spare. Of course, of course, that I can make that happen. 
Wonderful. All right. Let's um uh we'll be back in let's call it an hour. I will uh uh I'll go and grab flow and uh we can all reconvene down here and that way we can get up to a store, set down roots and figure out how to keep an eye out for uh for Neptune something. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I still love that, that, that name. <laughs> that, that's uh, that's perfect. I'll, I'll get the the car. Do you want to? Do you just want to meet the car here? Do you want it uh, delivered somewhere for you? Um. Do we want to? I'll I'll turn to Howard. Do you want to just meet at your uh, at the at your uh, office, office there? Yes. Yeah, that'll work. I've got some things I need to finish up there anyway. All okay. right. So yeah, I'll snag flow and we can. I'll wheel the bike into your place and that way it's not sitting out and nothing looks out of the ordinary here. All right. All um, right. Just leaving the address for that place and I'll have them drop the car off there. Excellent. Okay. Howard will just quickly write down the address of it. Okay. And uh, you head out. I assume you want to... Do you have anything, any affairs you want to try and get in order before you leave? No, nah, not really. Not particularly. Okay. <clears throat> so, yeah. Oh, yeah? Oh, no, I was just going to say, it's like, yeah, I, so, um, we hop on the bike, I drop Howard off at uh, his offices, and then I will go over to Flo's and uh, let them know that uh, the plan has been moved up and it's time to go. Please pack a bag and get out. Yeah, maybe an overnight bag. I swing by my place, pack pack a couple of nights worth of clothes, get my suit, and uh, get ready to go. Okay. And that <laughs> might have to call it early because at this point we're going to need flow soon. Yeah, uh, actually, that's. Yeah, that's probably a good idea, I think. Um, I don't... Because I don't have, like, a complication or anything that I can throw uh, in. I mean, I think we came up with a pretty reasonable plan. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm actually surprised Noel was able to, to do that, to be honest. Look, it... Just because I was in the military, does you know, I, I, not all of my plans are bad. Yeah. Discretion is the better part of valor, and this is the seems to you know I'm very good at drawing a straight line, and this yeah. seems to be the straightest line to draw. That that's fair for you. Yeah, Pro and then, props to you. Yeah, and it'll give me it'll give me time to come up with some plans uh, for the road trip. You oh, know, no. so it's a little, make <laughs> make some little complications or something. So it's. Not mm -hmm. just you drive all the way up there and stuff. So are we gonna have a road trip session? Yeah, we're gonna have a road trip session. Oh, it's gonna be a montage. Yeah, we're gonna have a road trip, uh, a road snack montage, picking out our road snacks. <laughs> nice. Oh, cool. Yeah. Well. So I'm gonna find somebody first to raid, and uh, we'll sign out here. Cool. Um, cool. Ready so, uh, starting with uh, Howard, who are you? Where can we find you? Uh, I've been Howard. My actual name is Joseph. And I, I'm a part of no other podcasts or other streams, but I am available. Hint. Um, there's not much to me, I guess. You can find me on the Nerfus Dice Discord and on Twitter at, at Quartz563. And I'll probably just be milling around other dark corners of the internet. And that's, that's, that's who I am. Mm -hmm. Okay, and no. Uh, hi, I've been Noel. Uh, I am usually Chase. Uh, you can find me uh, on the uh, Sundry Ghostlight Media Network podcasts. Uh, I am the uh, GM of Another Path, which is an actual play D&D podcast. I play on Palimpsest, which is an actual play um, uh, cipher system podcast in the world of Numenera. 
And uh, I am the uh, producer for Zach and Griffin's Multiversal Pet Shop, which is an improv comedy podcast using uh, monster manuals to decide if uh, it, certain critters would be good pets. And uh, I am a, an occasional voice on Shakespeare, which is an actual roundtable discussion podcast where we are talking about all of the Shakespeare plays. Uh, this upcoming episode is a little bit of a divergence from our normal formula, though, uh, where we... Uh, talk to a, an individual who is uh, Shakespeare averse about potentially uh, getting more into uh, into the bard himself. Uh, I've also started to stream a little bit more often over on uh, my Twitch channel, um, what is it, Ghostlight Media, uh, appropriately named. And if uh, you check us out over there, uh, actually later today, I am planning on doing a little bit of streaming of the video game inside. Uh, hopefully going forward, we're going to be doing some Jackbox over there as well, which will be uh, fun for everybody to get involved with. Okay. And that's me. <laughs> and I am Nerdy Titty. You can find me uh, usually on Welcome to the Party right now. Um Every Thursdays, I stream, or every Thursday, I stream over there for Millennium Nights, which is a Powered by the Apocalypse, uh, Power Rangers inspired game. It's a lot of fun. The players are really great for that. Um, it's very funny. Uh, so definitely come check that out. Uh, of course, there is stuff that is going on on this channel, which is right now mostly 15 days in Pasadena. They're. Uh, I continue right now to try to set up some one shots, uh, which right now, if you anybody is interested, uh, there is a great American novel game for this one's going to be this Wednesday. Um, it's going to be 1980s uh, band gets their big break, uh, gets signed to a label. The conflict being that uh, the when they go to record their first label the uh, first record uh the of course the label wants them to change their sound so it's more commercial and uh see how that uh plays out that's again that will be plan that's currently planned for wednesday at uh 8 p.m et um there will be keeping ears open there will be more faded uh 1995 or milwaukee 95 stuff uh scion hero stuff that will be i am getting clearing up some stuff and i'm going to be uh buckling down and getting uh some more stuff worked out so hopefully there will be some more uh world building streams and uh session zero coming up here before we get into the one-on-one -on -one sessions to meet the characters and stuff and uh we are going to go raid uh sax knife is what it's called i'm gonna go raid them looks like they're playing just some uh D &D. and we'll see you next time thank you everybody Hi. Bye. Bye.